over towards the B site. Dazzle taking a peek through the dark cover just to see. Paranoia will come out, but it actually affects the avoid Dre more than anybody else. Luminosity will still get through, but the spike is planted. D1 setting up for a post plant safer over towards B window. Vanity helping out with the capital T shops will find Proto for first blood. And Luminosity are in a really tricky spot. Even beyond that, take a look at Thief. He is all the way around the back for the flank from the side through C. And he is in a position to absolutely deny any play for this defuse. Just comes down to LG. They're trying to run out and deny these players that are on the backside, but all of the kills turning up for version one, and Luminosity's retake will never really unfold. C retake set up from Luminosity, and V1 will oblige by taking it, but they also have Penny as this potential sewers flank through A site that could absolutely backstab and crush this yeah. retake if he times this perfectly. We'll see. Luminosity gonna have to move quickly to get through this. Vanity, really good paranoia coming right through, but is good for the recon goal. The fight will be pretty much 50-50. Vanity will find one, but the trade will be there. V1 still trying to hold on to the site, but it's Lil G who gets there first and foremost. Now the long play from the flank. The snake fight gonna deny the initial plan. And he has revealed himself with a kill on the dazzle, so we stay 3v3. But your boy Dre moving forward. Big point of contact. Wins the gunfight. Gets the overhill. Now Penny into the site. Trying to clean up. Finds one. Effie's with the shock dart a second. Dre running out of time. Has to make a play. And at this point, there's no way that he's going to be able to find the defuse. And with the escape, Whippy was dedicated towards it. And you feel like V1's kind of playing into Luminosity's low economy with that type of tactic, Absolutely. right? Like you know that they're going to probably bite down a little bit earlier with the big rotation. Having to roll the dice because they have the inferior firepower and they know it. So V1 just kind of winning the, the mental chess match that's taking place there, out positioning LG. And uh, some guns being brought down though by LG, so making this one maybe a little bit more expensive than V1 we're hoping. And from here, this you feel luminosity. You, you just capture this weapon and then run away, and that seems to be the case. Dazzle still going to peek, maybe seeing if he can get ahead over through the ace site, but that will not be allowed. No one's actually on the site itself, so 4 over V1, but I, I agree with you. This The kind of Head fake over towards C, even committing, knowing that they have an economical advantage. But this is still getting pretty expensive. Whippy finally takes down Proto, so no weapons will carry on to the next round for LG. Five rounds for Penny. The take it of the too. A site is technically successful, but LG look like they actually want to try to recontest this very quickly. Penny not going to be able to get the right click off in time. Hunter's Fury coming through and the perfect timing for that, as Effies is able to convert not just onto one kill, but a lot of damage. And now LG have to back away and reconsider what they want to do. Don't know if they'll be allowed to. Yeah. Now it's all on Dazzle here. Again, a new member to the team coming over from E United. Trying to make a name for himself here. It's targeted though, and it's not looking good. Fight gonna come right to him. Vanity finds the kill. Perfect timing. Have to get in there if he's gonna find value. Viper spit. Seems like it was, yeah, there it is. So I was gonna say, it's taking a minute to come up onto the screen, but that's gonna be Whippy who pulls that to make sure that the exchange through Garage is contested. Effie's, meanwhile, able to find Tig on that long flank, so the Judge is not gonna come into play for the flank off the, the retake through from LG. Spamming through, and V1, oh my goodness, it's just so clean. Dre, last one up. Nice for three. Opportunity to keep moving forward, but he's gonna be at one bullet and one point worth of health. Trying to find Whippy has pushed through. Beautiful shot. So Drake makes it interesting for four, but in the end, V1 will still secure the round. Yeah, again, expensive though. You know, you're forcing a lot of rebuys, Ooh. and now he's gonna get the ace there, gets to save a phantom. Actually get a plant down. They do force out the Hunter's Fury, and there's still tons of time to work with. Yeah, you kind of wonder if they were doing that on purpose to get the Hunter's Fury out of play because they already yeah. had this Viper wall down on the A side. So that could have been a very calculated just, let's rush in there, let's kind of force that Hunter's Fury out. We'll leave someone behind, which is going to be Thief, the Lurking Cypher. He's going to be able to pick up, and he spots the Omen ulting as well. He's going to get the Neural Theft down. He knows that Dazzle canceled, and he'll be able to get that frag also. Oh, also, more coming around the back. It's Thief for three. Impressive solo play from him, but... After Proto finds the trade, Tig responds with one of his own. So we've got a 2v3 retake very possible, and it looks like LG want to go sooner rather than later. Recon Bolt will reveal Effie's position. He throws a shoulder. It's mostly being shot off as Tig finally converts with the headshot. But we're in a 2v2 situation in which you've got snake fight lineups coming through for Whippy. But that said, they have to be successful. Finds one. Caught with a knife out. Does he reset? Oh, no. Not going to happen. And Tig, after the Hunter's Fury got baited out from him, Turns it into four eliminations and saves the first round for LG. That is such a tough loss for Virgin. It's actually a round where even they still 
with the win. Cannot get to full economy, but Fan does have the blade down. Finds Thief for the first pick. Massive for sure. As you know, the Lurker is for sure down. Empress is also going to be popped here for LG defensively. And now the next hit for version one will be sent right through middle. Penny coming out. Dazzle completely blinded up by the paranoia. And Penny's going to turn that into instant aggression onto the C site. Frodo, what can you do to reinforce our statement about your Sentinel gameplay? How about that? Finds the first, no problem. Fan also a part of this play. Not going to find the first. Trying to get uh -oh. some patient shots with the knives, but misses completely out, and Vanity keeps the play alive for what would technically be a 1v3. Oh, he's been darted, though. That's going to make it tougher on him. He's trying to maneuver around it the best that he can, putting that smoke down. He does not spike possession, and now he's hurt. And floating over the top is Vanity. He's hurt this. He spams and finds the kill, but Tig shock dart right into the dark covers. Oh, really good defensive paranoia. That'll stop a lot of the early aggression from Penny. Fans can read the weapon. Fights one. Able to grab a second. Meanwhile, Dazzle long side at A. He's also able to double up. LG, plenty of tools here, though, to try to retake, including the Hunter's Fury, which Tig does connect on for one. Damage on more than that. Vanity going to fall, and Proto's already in the site. He's found one elimination. Penny trying to hold on with Thief, and they've done well to find three in a row, but bam, the quick scope twice in a row. Just down to two for V1. 2v2 situation. Snakebite will deny the defuse for now and the reposition from Whippy to go over to short while Effie's holds a tight corner and all oh, bands not going to expect this whatsoever, but uh -oh. sticks this to halfway. Not going to find the third elimination. Now 1v1. Tig has to come back to the play. It's down to Can You See Whippy. Sees him on the top of the screen, but Whippy beats him to the punch. And V. Mm, could be some contact in a forward trap wire here. First time we've seen this from LG. Yeah, that is true. Making it a little bit harder for V1 to break through this door. Top being detected. Take no aggression. That sewers is going to be huge. He gets two. And the intel on Effie's location. That's a big trade. Oh. oh. Your boy Dre and Dazzle making a big push down mid. But Penny gets the reset. Effie's watching the flank. We'll get the information that Dazzle's on the back. Paranoia going to miss. And Vanity will turn that into one. Nearly grabs a second. But we'll recognize the threat and say, let's just yep. go for a play on to see. Yeah, I mean, he knows the location of at least one player in this two versus two, so knows it's pretty safe to come and plant this spike over towards C. They still have the daggers up. Vanity able to reposition with this alt here, get a little bit of intel. And now they can just try to hold the line. LG has a weakened player here. Here comes the take through C long. Vanity, I think he's got his dirt cover out at the exact wrong time, but Penny still responds. Now, ooh, anime battle. Knives on knives, J on Jet! Penny for the 1v1! So version 1, who have not spent much, could use this as retake ability. Penny gonna read that a lot of this action is close in quarters and ooh, not able to lock down many shots as he dashes on in. Tig finds a second. But Thief keeps things relatively even with that. Beast Whippy though falls and LG. So doing that, Tig very quickly through Garage on the way over towards C. Defensively here is going to be Thief and a number of other V1 players on the way in. Thief finds the first. Penny also part of the crossfire and Whippy getting involved as they collectively find one each. And Vanity also looking to get involved. Could be a team A situation here as around the corner, FBs will be able to find theirs, and there it is. Team All drones will pass each other, and LG are going to be in a really weird spot trying to execute on this defensive E1. Yeah, there's such a big defensive place on this A side. The paranoia is going to take Van down with the help of Vanity and Penny's rifles. Dazzle and your boy Dre, though, fighting it back, Aww. but Effie's getting into the under heaven position, evens it back up, takes the advantage for E1. Scouts out Proto, but can't confirm the kill. 2v2 situation. Quickly up top goes Thief. He Waiting for just a moment is Whippy. And the spam shot Spike just taking the time to ping out where exactly that default would be. And the snake bite would have been there for good measure. So things fall on to Proto, who has collected the spike, wants to plant this right the under spike. the corner, and is successful. So now 1v2. Wants to check out the angle. Finds one. It's information on Whippy and the shoulder peak. Will he punish? I think they've read this pretty nicely. Yeah, the thing is, though, there's still one garage, one C, and Penny is just now rotating over to A side from B, so timing could be a little tough. Oh, but Vanity is still able to find one. That's not bad at all. Hunter's Fury on the way in. Penny making sure there is no cross. That's also the spike that's been down. Drake will find one in return. 4v3 situation. Penny watching players come to the toxic screen, but... Eliminations favor LG to tie things up to a 2v2. Thief up top. Shock Dart trying to push them off. He sees the head of one. Also saw the shoulder of a second, but Tig will also struggle him back with a Shock Dart of his own. 1v2 for Tig. Has to stick for a plan as the time is low. Gets this down. Tries to get the gun up, but Effie's 
just a little bit too quick around the corner and Veep. Aggression coming through, but the Leer will actually allow Luminosity to push through. Dazzle's going to get into the front of the shadows. Up top, Vanity sees information. Paranoia will come out very early. The thing is, do they recognize that Dazzle's still up top here? Well, now they should. Paranoia comes out, but it's not going to make a difference. Dazzle finds the first. Comes down over towards Hell. Sees more off the Recon Bolt. Able to find Illumination, but Thief for two. We talked about how good he is in 1v multiple situations. He finds three, but Dazzle responds in kind. 2v2 situation. And a massive Ooh. round when it comes to the implications of what could happen with this series. And we're going to have to wait for Whippy to rotate. Yeah. Smart here by Penny just to wait it out for Whippy so they can try to retake this together. Going to be tough with just an operator here in Penny's hands. He's got no daggers. I don't know if he has access to a rifle, so they have to kind of just work in together. Oh, but Whippy checks the left, finds the free kill on the Dazzle. Now down to Proto. Here's Penny oh. in the sight. Comes to the toxic screen and actually catches Whippy in the timing, but Penny too far forward version one. And it's also the fact that Whippy's the first one forward to retake, and it's a 50 50 check. And predicts the correct corner. Mentioned, I don't know if they know Penny's got the op. I mean, you gotta know it's possible, right? With the success that they've been having, but yeah, they just step out. Penny gets a freebie, able to back off, reposition that logs. So they're still gonna keep trying to push in, trying to use the Hunter Sphere to help clear a path, but oh no, the dash goes awry for Van. They don't actually get any space here, and now Vanity's back with the judge, but he gets caught by Proto's flank. And he finds a second Whippy on the way forward, able to assist Whippy for two. Oh no, it's all gone wrong, just down to Tig. Good first elimination, but you feel like we'll eventually be over. Okay. Wants to try to throw some consideration for a post-plant contest, but is largely going to have to wait for help. Yeah, this is just the retake here from V1, as they did kind of give up the B site, and of course that Sage Wall so powerful to helping that B cross. And now Tig catching the first player, trying to rotate through heaven here. Your boy Dre, though, getting caught, maybe creating an opening for V1. Paranoia comes right down Main Street. Vanity able to find one. Cyber Cage is providing a big kind of smoke screen wall, though. And here comes the play forward, and everyone on Luminosity caught on reload, it seems like. Yeah, it's like Effies is on the way as well already. Yeah. Full call coming out. Fault line to the mix. Penny trying to stay alive, but affected and concussed. Means that Dre finds Illumination. Effies up top trying to take his place. Aftershock was thrown forward, but nobody expects Effies to also be up top. Finds two. And uh-oh, things looking dangerous once again for Luminosity. 4v3 situation. Whippy already on the site. I think just caught information up top, but more importantly, finds Proto on the low ground. Oh, wow. Vanity in the back is making sure there is no rotation out, although the Vanity? shots are less than good. And Tig has actually opened up some space to collect the spike and run over to B. It just comes down to will he have time to plant? He should. Dazzle working behind the plate. Also finds another. No so Luminosity way. have pulled this back to a 2v2 and they'll have a post plant. Oh my goodness. How has LG somehow found a post plant 2 versus 2 on B site like this? And now Dazzle in the perfect spot to cut off this rotation through heaven? Perhaps. Oh my goodness. No way. Just when he thought it all was going wrong for LG. Shift, don't tell me V1 are going to lose this <laughs> round after that. Don't you dare. I'm, I won't say a don't word. Don't say it. But yeah, that's the best. My mind is thinking some of the things, and my yeah, voice will fine. stay tepid for now. I appreciate Whippy that. Whippy up top, caught out. No chance. Unbelievable. What in the heavens was that? The inevitable hit. Wood Dazzle up top with Ban, who Ban just tries to go to the high ground, caught in the mix. Rolling Thunder out, but Dazzle also falls. Effie's affected. That'll be now what is five straight kills for Dre between the two rounds. And we've got another 2v2 situation. Yeah. Penny with the shells are going to be able to clear out some space, but Tig, I don't think, has been seen underneath here since he pulled the Rolling Thunder out. No, but he does have the spike, so I mean, he's going to have to eventually give up that position, get in there, and get that spike down, and indeed he will. Now they know that Under Heaven is clear. Cam misses the dart. Snake bite gonna come in on the spike to push the player off there. So V1's done a great job kind of limiting what One angles they have to check remaining. as they come in with their utility uh, usage. But he just walking in from the backside, finds one whippy from the high ground, gets the second. So version one recover, but another yeah. round that was starting to be pieced together have that they normally sure. do. Yeah, that, that's a fair point to make, but it has stalled this A take, and now they can kind of set up a bit of a crossfire here up top. Ban running oh. right into it, head first with the dash. Oh, Dazzle gets caught trying to teleport, and everything's going wrong now for LG. Your boy Dre does get one back, sure, but they're still in a 2v4. They have not gotten inside of this spike yet. Oh, it's so tough. Uh, the execute, you see exactly what the idea was for Luminosity, but off of the flash and dash, it just gets a little spun around, doesn't it? Band is not really sure what to or shoot like at. More like a flash and face plan. <laughs> That's fair. Trey coming up ramps, going to find himself in the midst of a double stack.
It's all down to Proto. 1v4. Does have the spike, so an opportunity to secure a little bit of extra coin, but is there really an opportunity to clutch this? You would think probably not. Effies will reveal their position, but turning its attention over towards main. Working to work together, and Vanity is going to come down to the timing of this paranoia. Oh my gosh, it's perfect, but he's not going to try to cheat the angle. He's going to try to back away, gets flashed by Tig. Halt line also coming through. Whippy on the rotation, able to find one, but Ban and Tig combine to exchange uh -oh. things in favor of Luminosity, and Dazzle finds Thief, and Proto mid-map, he's right behind. He hears all of this, so outside of being able to deny the plant, there's really not going to be much hope here for version 1, and Penny on the low ground is going to be caught between a rock, a hard place, and a harder place. Proto on the flank secures the... Take from that what you will, but it's so the simple fact that for version one, there have been some really sloppy either initial holds or particularly retakes that have come through that have yeah. really hurt them. Oh, this is gonna be a crazy scrap. It feels like over towards male, and it's equal so far. And it looks like oh. V1's gonna hold firm off the back of it. Effie's and Penny, big frags to get themselves a four and two. They're gonna be able to get a res if they want as well. Wall goes down to slow the mid attack. Tig's going to try to commit through this. Penny finds one. Penny finds two. Rounds. Yeah, speaking of Ban, he definitely hammered Vanity there. Big entry. Hammer yeah, yeah, play. yeah. <laughs> Was pretty obvious shift, uh, you know, but if you ask, you kind of ruin it. He just didn't come in with as much confidence as I normally would expect. I was trying to be shots subtle. up top. One for one exchange. 3v3 situation. 38 seconds on the clock. Proto up top actually could find another point of contact. And Will finds the first. Did not quite see the ponytail of Effies. But obviously with all this utility being deleted, he's going to know that he's Effie's just like, listen here, buddy. <laughs> You're not getting your stuff down. Now you get the frag. But now Tay going to go with the rolling thunder. Going to secure a heaven for himself. Allows that spike to maybe... You know, be more safe here as it's still under the control of your boy Dre is keeping an eye on things. We take 2v2 here. Oh, what? No way. But now Dre, an opportunity, knows where the play is coming from. Whippy turns it into a second. Lurk mid definitely want to try to wall themselves into the site, it seems, with Van being the point of the spear. Whippy will be in the site, though, defending, but his support system's not quite there just yet. Oh. Hammer on the corner, trying to find some clearance. Whippy, Effie's both falling. Penny quickly trying to recover. Sends out the showstopper, finds a kill, plus some extra damage. Paint shells over the top of the wall. That might also connect. Tig going to take a little bit of damage from that. Actually, more than a little bit of damage. Down to half HP, and version 1 have successfully yeah. stopped this spike plant. Yeah, they've done a lot of damage in this 3 versus 3 to 2 left. of the remaining members here of LG. Dazzle trying to... Maybe fake a teleport out of this backside site, trying to make them doubt whether he's still there or not. But they still can't get this spike down. I mean, everyone for V1's ready to go. They're already here. Going to commit to it is Tig. Can he get away? Dark Cover is going to come through. Fault line as well. Again, actually connects on the Vandy, but Thief and the Empress up top able to find one. Now quickly, moving to the low ground. Around the corner is Frodo. Spike cam will see this, but will it make much of a difference? I don't believe it will. Everyone knows where Dazzle is. And V1. What a contest throughout the B site that was. While slowing them down. They smoke the rope, so they want to go. Yeah, you've got slow orb paint shells combo that's available here for version yep. one if they read this. There's the slow orb. And he keeps the weapon up, but Van still finds first blood. Dazzle gets a second. That's incredible for LG. Now an opportunity to just paranoia your way back onto the site. Left. Only player they have not dealt with is Whippy, and he actually gets a bit of assistance on the rotate from Vanity. His paranoia comes out. That will be good for one, but... Uh, He's more comfortable yeah. with. Again, not singling him out, it's just you've been seeing LG be able to really kind of exploit this, this mail room position several times. Oh, that's wow. so good from Vanity. Oh my goodness. Denies the majority of the flash and then immediately snaps back around for a double. Unbelievable. Plus the spike down. Yeah, that's big. They can't really hold the spike. They will give it back, but the spike. I mean... They're not worried about that when they already have a five on three. They have Viper Spit available for a retake. I mean, they're, they're sitting pretty right now. And that is pretty affected. Yeah. You're seeing that a lot more. Players being willing to stay in the stun and just fight. Because they feel like it's not impacting them enough. But they can still, with good aim, still be able to, you know, rattle off some good accurate shots and still, you know, have impact. Well, here comes the problem spot for version one. Yep. Top 3B tower. 30 seconds left. 
He finds the first though. Paige Shells is gonna make things absolutely chaotic. Proto and Bando still come away. That's a one for two exchange again up top at B Tower. Neural yep. Theft earned and Luminosity will recognize they've got a free plant over to A. Yep. This is a very doable, what was a 3v5, now a 2v3. Yeah, the only issue is that their Cypher is very low on HP, left. and since they're going to have to rush this plant, they're not going to have a crazy amount of time to get like better post-plant positioning. They're going to plant as safe as they I can towards it. the backside. The thing is, V1 are kind of taking their time, which is giving them more yeah. chances to give doubt. Now, Vanity's trapped behind a tripwire as well. Uh, he deletes it, so his position will largely be revealed. Ban yep. really just solely focused on what's coming through screens. Version 1's retake, currently mostly possessing the A tower and A ramps. Up top, and beautiful shot. Also still has the knives to play with. Proto gets an angle. He finds a second. This will be a 3v5 for Luminosity. The tie up the half, oh and they convert. Pro and finds one. Not going to get the second. So even exchange gives us to a 3v3. But take a look at Tig through rope. Very quickly, he's going to read this rotation. Finds one. That's not bad. Keep things to a 2v2. You also yeah. gotta keep in mind that you still have Proto lurking by screens, and even beyond that, Dre's mid-map still watching this rotation. Yeah, I mean, they basically know exactly where V1 is, and they have all angles covered. They're either gonna commit to A and they'll spot that, or your boy Dre will spot them trying to cross back through ropes into B Heaven. So LG's doing a good job just kind of playing passive, but keeping tabs on V1's movement so they can try to work this 2v2 out together rather than give V1 too many... 1v1 opportunities, or maybe even a 2v1 left. opportunities. They're going to bring the spike into A side. A proto spots both players. Does not commit. Oh. Waiting for the rotation of his teammate. Just kind of playing this out. He's going to get smoked off. But again, he's doing the right thing by just waiting slowly and surely for your boy Dre to set in this flank. And there's nothing to alert E1 to this flank. I don't think anyone's seen Dre all map. So. Wall will big go wall. down. That will actually be a really big nuisance for Proto. He is going to chip through it. Vanity's still holding on. How much ammo has he burned to a that paranoia? Though? He can't have too much. Here comes the play from Dre. They read it. Paranoia comes out, but even beyond that, still, you've got an opportunity. Proto gets onto site. Effie's for one, Effie's for two. Absolutely. So Dazzle is going to be tested potentially with point of contact. It seems like it's going to come and yeah, brilliant first. Is he able to find the second? No, Effie's response, but in the same breath, Dre mid map did take down Thief. So we've got Luminosity in a 4v3 early. Yeah, we are seeing Vanity at least able to put a little bit of mid-presence there, kind of start threatening mail room, threaten ropes. It kind of keeps the B defense honest, not allowing them to help really reinforce A too, too much. They'll have to put a lot of trust in a proto. They also have to worry about A Heaven having been taken. They're having to watch yeah. the back hall. So it's kind of keeping this four-man defense spread a bit thin despite them having a man advantage. So they might be able to kind of just gather up and have like a 3v1 opportunity somewhere. They're keeping that Viper wall and such at A side to keep that honest, but they're gathering up the rest over towards B lobby now. Tig is in the back of the site with Breach, and Span is not too far away here in B Heaven, so it's going to be a tough egg to crack, I feel, for V1. They'll get the orb, Aww. and they don't commit just yet. Fault line hits, they have to back off, and they're running out of time. They're going to revert they're, now to middle. They're going to stick for a res here by the look of it, and this is going to be yeah. hard-pressed. They know for a fact it's going to come up, and Band is here waiting for it, but does not find the first elimination. Quickly rotating over his LG. Flashpoint trying to stall. Dre down low. No slow orbs or walls to play with. Also take empty of any sort of utility, but it's not going to make a difference. The kills are coming through. Five seconds on the clock, but it's Dre! Ooh, nice wall to block off the ropes rotation. Now they can start charging in and start threatening back halls, as well as, of course, threatening just coming in through A Heaven. Will they check Dazzle? Here it is. Patience from Dazzle, but maybe too much. Proto's only able to find one in response. It's Penny for two. Thief lurking mid-map finds a third. And version one cruise on into the A site for a plan. I absolutely love this play from V1. Using the Sage Wall to block the ropes and use that to basically ensure they're going to get a heaven control. It gives them very much that second route into A site. They can put the bulk of their forces through it. They basically kind of skip past a very tight choke point and get themselves a much bigger opening to approach A site from. And now they can just look to close this round. They had already done the hard part of getting the site and cutting off that initial rotation. Now they stick to the Boy Dre in pretty much an impossible 1v4 situation. He gets one. And the shadows coming out, Penny also coming through, but immediately the counter is the rolling thunder. It affects so many players, except for Whippy, behind the play, finds one. Yeah. Everyone shrugs off the status effects, and again, version one have gained a sight. And now you don't have that for the retake, right? Yep. That's the thing. Like, you had to pounce off of that and actually get some frags and give yourself an advantage, and instead they come into a four-on-five. They do have a res, sure. They can maybe get their jet back, but 
not much utility at their disposal. On oh, Whippy's still behind this play. Yep. Whippy's still behind this play. He can just sit here and wait. Now the yep. information is that there are so many players on the backside. Whippy's only able to find one. Would have loved to have gotten a second, but of course the number's too favorable for version one. Suppose there's a chance he might get double faced. I feel like just pulling back and either coming in later once your team has the site or gathering your teammates to take the site and making sure that you at least keep on to the four on five because at worst you're giving up one weapon. Right control. The rotation will go right back over to Mail. Paranoia coming through, so here's the take. Flashpoint out. Also, the aftershock. Kid will single handedly deny any play through the top. And Ban, meanwhile, over through A Ramps, finds elimination. And so now version one have to go back to their initial left. fake and commit to it. It's going to be right down on the beat. Take a part of this play. Find some damage. Proto able to follow up with the kills. Still favoring version one as Penny doubles yeah. down. And B1 once more will have the B site. Plus, with the resurrection, Vanity gets brought back to life. You also have to think about what they did to get here. They burnt all that breach utility before they actually even took the site, which allowed them to have much easier passage. It came down to just scrapping at that point, and they win those fights. Now they have a four-on-two post plant. Deep watch in the corner. Dazzle, wide peak, finds one. Effies, though, turns the corner. Lisa Proto having to only go for Sheriff. Not sure what Ban has in play. He's got Bloodstorm. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's see what happens. You want looking to just load up A early, and they are going to be right. It's a big mid push and double B lobby push from LG. It's a wide open site. Oh, this is an opportunity off his trap wire. He had a free look at Penny. Uh, it's going to be a little unfortunate. Viper's pit down. Spike being planted, and Luminosity are going to be straggling, getting over for a retake look. This is going to be so difficult to break now. Inferior firepower down a man. Viper's pit on the site. Good luck. Yeah. Gonna have to see something incredible here from Ban. First one defensively up on this post plant. It's gonna be Vanity. Sitting in the poison cloud. Here's one to come over the top. Finds Tig. Immediate response coming through. So now 3v4. Thief on the site. Dealt with. Wait a second. Dre and Dazzle find a couple. 2v3. Ban gets the right click off. Clearing out. Face not gonna find Penny. Just down to one. Showstopper in play. Dazzle sidestepping. Gonna be able to. No, not find the kill.